hello friends welcome back to our channel in this video i am going to share with you a digital design interview question which is based on electronic dies and this is very commonly asked interview question these days before asking you the actual interview question let me tell you what do i mean by an electronic dies the electronic dies that is shown in a figure uses six leds to represent six number on the actual dies so for example this led 1 represents number 1 on the dies led 2 represents number 2 on the dies led 3 represents number 3 on the dies number 4 number 5 and number 6 on the dies so it requires six leds in another version of electronic dies there can be a seven segment display instead of these leds and along with these leds or seven segment display there will exist a button so as soon as we press a button one of the led should glow which will represent a particular number on the dies another time when we press a number one of the led should glow which should be random in nature because when we throw a actual dies we are not sure which number will come friends now my question to you is you have to design an electronic dies using digital design method and let us say you are going to implement this design on an fpga board where these leds and these press buttons are commonly available the only complication in this question is you have to generate a random number as soon as i press a button so if you are able to generate a random number your problem is solved and you will be able to make design of this electronic dice very easily now you can pause my video here take your time to think of its answer otherwise i will reveal its answer friends now without wasting much time let me reveal its answer so this will be the digital design to implement an electronic dice that we are talking about as i told you that we have to generate a random number so to generate a random number what i am doing i am taking a free running counter which is counting from 1 to 6 continuously and there is a button as soon as i press this button i have to put some synchronizer flops to make it synchronize with the clock that i am using in my design once this asynchronous input is synchronized with this clock and it is applied to sample and whole logic what it will do in one particular implementation let us say when this input is high the output value of this counter will be passed as the output of sample and whole logic and when this input goes low we need to hold the output value of sample and whole logic this is very simple logic this way whenever we press a button we are not sure what is the output of this counter and we are going to latch a random value here this way we will be able to display a random value on the leds each time we press this button and this will form an electronic dice friends let me mention one very important factor here as i have used many synchronous flip flops to sample this asynchronous signal to the clock used inside our design and these synchronous flip flops are used to ensure that our design will not go into a meta stable state and particularly the logic or the flip flops used in sample and whole logic but friends even if these flip flops go into a meta stable state they are not going to harm us in this particular example because we are going to generate a random number at the output of this sample and whole logic so even if i remove this synchronous flip flops and i directly apply the value or the input coming from this switch to this sa sample and whole logic i don't think there is any problem in fact i will say the output of sample and whole logic will be more random in number in case any of the flip flop goes into a meta stable state this way we can remove the synchronous flip flop to reduce area consumption friends with this i'm going to close this video and i hope that this would be quite informative for all of you and in future we will come with many such ideas so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and if you really like this video please press the like button thank you so much for watching